engineer 775 here um, I've had the gasifier for over a year and I've never taken it apart and it's it's working fine just has some folks interested in checking it out and so doing a little maintenance on the gasifier it's gonna take it apart really want to see how the hearth is doing the nozzles see if they're clean or not and then uh, and then just clean her up on the inside see what's going on clean out the ash clean out Take a good look inside and see what's going on today. Gasifier teardown take two. Here's my oh da -da -da -da, jar bed. I got a lot of chunks in here, more than I thought. I got down past the, the hearth. That's the grate I'm shaking. Looking for some new gasket material before I put this thing back together. And I'm cleaning it out. Um, I've got the, the hopper up here. Can't really see because the lid's closed. There's my lead-in cone that comes down into the hearth. I'm just going to clean the heavy carbon off of this. I took all the nozzles out. And I took everything off with the choke plate. Here are my nozzles. Okay, and they screw in here. Okay, it's ten of those. That's a new choke plate. Choke plates are used to size your gasifier to the amount of displacement of your engine as well as the diameter of the hole in the nozzle. Again, I'm running uh, six cylinder engines and if I wanted to step up to a V8 I would drill that nozzle out, all those nozzles out to probably a 7 16 I think they're 3 8 now. And then I would go to that bigger choke plate which is bigger than the, than the choke plate that's currently on here. So what am I talking about? Choke plate. See how much bigger this one is. Good half inch in diameter. Just about a half inch in diameter bigger. Which is a lot more volume of air. So you can make some adjustments to these. And so I just took everything apart. wanted to clean it. This is after a year of running. Not running continuously but uh, running it quite a bit in different conditions. It's always outside. So Thanks to Victory Gas Works and their stainless steel and their nice fab job, um, this thing looks great. And I, all the threaded components unscrewed without a problem. And I will be, before I get chastised by anybody, using nickel antifreeze, which is anti-freeze, anti-seize, which is good up to 20, just in case you're wondering. But maybe you're not. 2400 degrees Fahrenheit. So that'll work great. It always has. Okay, gonna be looking for. I gotta find some gasket material. I ruined my gaskets taking this thing apart, and they're just not. I'm not gonna put it back together. If there's any air being sucked into this gasifier in any location, it will throw off your carburation. So you want to make sure you do a good job with sealing up everything in the gasifier. Okay, I guess that's that's it. Dun, 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 dun. Time to put her back together. Okay, wrapping this up. Just uh, got everything cleaned out. Cleaned out my ash. Cleaned out on the on the gasifier. And there's my grate. And uh, took pretty much everything out. I'm gonna have to fill things back up. There's my condensate can. And here's the hearth with the gasket pretty much scraped off. And uh, the uh, choke plate assembly is in good shape. All the bolts came out really nice. I was happy with that and I'll uh, just give credit to the nickel anti-seize. But uh, I'm going to put it back together here soon and the hopper's in good shape. There wasn't a lot of tar in there. Uh, not as much as I thought there would be. There's a little bit up on the lip but it's not affecting anything down below. So anyway, ceramic felt gaskets I'm looking for. I got to find a supplier local and uh, get back here. I need 20 inch diameter, 20 inch wide material. Hopefully, get some sheets and then I can cut the smaller gaskets for other parts. Anyhow, putting this thing back together shortly can't be without the gas fire for too long. But got a little more cleanup to do, a little more gasket scraping, and we got to get this thing back together. So, I'm very happy with it after a year of running on and off, leaving it outside. It's in real good shape. And uh, so there you have it. Any questions on the gasifier? Again, this was made not by me, but by Victory Gas Works. So I give all the credit to Ben and the crew over at Victory. And 
I'm just an end user that's learned a lot about gasification by tearing it down and preparing wood and running engines and again we've run a Harley, Ford pickup truck, generator and another uh, straight six Ford 300 so um, been very very good so I'm, I'm a, I've been surprised by the range been able to run engines size from 88 cubic inch to 300 cubic inch with it so very very good um, gasifier so all right that's it